guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm joined by my buddy Jacob oh, yeah. and his apt RS3. Now this thing, we were just speaking off camera, is a bit of a beast. So hence the number plate, the thing's running around 500 brake, yeah. give or take uh, a few different variables. And it's also one of like two in the UK. Um, which I didn't realise yeah. before filming yeah, this video. <laughs> so <laughs> there you go. Um, so I think without further ado, we'll cut to some B-roll and then we will learn a little bit more about this thing because I think it's a bit of a hidden gem and the RS3 in standard form is a beast. Um, so I think this is going to be a bit of a weapon. Hey guys, this is my uh, apt RS3. Uh, so it started his life as a standard RS3 running about 400 brake um, from standard. Um, and then it was taken to Milton Keynes, uh, ripped to sport in Milton Keynes, um, and they made all their changes to make it what it is today. Um, so the first kind of, I guess, change they make is the front uh, lip is kind of an additional black lip, um, kind of matches in, everything matches in quite well um, with the, the standard like gloss black you can get. Um, so they add that in with the little, um, app logo and the kind of like drop hands there. Um, the RS3 is replaced, I think it's normally Quattro there, so they put that RS3 in. Um, the next bit I guess is the wheels, um, the gloss black with the kind of um, diamond cut lip on them. Um, they also put in the bigger brake, uh, bigger discs, so I think they're 380 mil essentially. Um, fender kind of inserts here, so they cut into the uh, car and they add in these kind of wing vents. Uh, which look re really cool, kind of sets it off um, from most other RS3s. Uh, something I added myself was the uh, carbon mirrors. Um, so I think they're from Ultimate Customs, um, so they're really nice. Um, back brakes are stock. Um, as you can see, probably everywhere you see all the app logos. <laughs> they have uh, added on the number plate as well. They have. I think it's something like 15 or 20 app logos everywhere. There is a fair few, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's quite. It's, um, when I uh, kind of got the car with Shmi, um, it was like going through, and he was saying, "There's so many logos, you'll keep finding them." Yeah, that's um, one thing to mention, actually, the fact that you won this car through yeah, the OTB. Yeah. So uh, some of you may have seen um, I won the car on Christmas Eve, um, and then I think it was a couple months later, um, got the car, collected it from Brit to Sport. Um, and yeah, mental. Instance, so, yeah. Obviously, the guys watching at home are probably quite familiar with BOTV, a company who I've worked with on numerous occasions. So yeah, there yeah. you go, a lucky winner right yeah. here, which is mental. Um, so I guess the next bit is the exhaust system. So I think it's from, I don't think it's um, the whole exhaust system. I think it's pretty much the majority of it. Probably a cat back, um, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Um, which it sounds, I mean, you'll hear it later on, but it's yeah. kind of, it's pretty similar to stop, but it's a lot of uh, kind of deeper tone. Um, so it sounds generally just a lot lot better than the kind of stock car. Uh, it's obviously quad quad tips, which is really nice. It yeah. kind of again, you can kind of spot uh, an apt car from that. <laughs> um, and then again, the um, diffuser is slightly different with the RS3 again, um, like the front matching front, um, flat out everywhere. So the only things apart from the kind of seal the lip around the edge, there's everything else is black. I like that how it's all got like black badges on yeah. everything. No, um, and then stuff. kind of underneath as well, they do um, springs throughout app springs and uh, the anti-roll bars as well, which kind of stiffens up the car, mm -hmm. makes it feel, you know, a lot tighter in corners, um, which is nice. Um, I guess the inside is probably the next next bit. Um, it's pretty standard on the inside, but you'll just notice a ton of apt logos. <laughs> you can basically <laughs> spot the apt logo. Let's hop in a second. So we've got apt custom floor mats. We've got these pearl extensions, which I guess you've added. Yeah, I think they were Ultimate Customs again. They're um, nice, I like those. Really nice. We've got apt on top of there, and also on the start button, which you probably can't see right now. There we go, focus. Uh, oh, and also there. Yeah. <laughs> They're everywhere. Yeah, um, but pretty, yeah, it is a nice place to be. It sits really well. It's the first thing that I noticed. Yeah, yeah the car. So it sits so well. Sometimes it can be a bit harsh on. on some of the bumps on the UK roads, yeah. but <laughs> generally, yeah, I, I absolutely love how it sits. It, it is really nice. Yeah, no, it looks um, proper. So I guess we'll, I guess the final thing is probably to look under the bonnet. Yeah, sure. Um, I'll hop around. So I've done a little addition myself there. You I have indeed. Find the catch. 
Trails Island. Have a look at that. Even Corey and Take in there, which is, it looks incredible and it sounds incredible as well. That is nuts. Um, so yeah, I think I've had this in here maybe about a month so yeah. far. Um, and it's, yeah, it completely transforms the car. It's, it's an additional sound. Um, it just makes the experience so much better. Yeah. Um, so that's I mean, really nice. That um, engine bay looks class. Yeah, yeah, it Especially does. Especially with that, look at yeah. that. That is nuts. Um, and then obviously they've got the kind of uh, apt AEC in there, which <laughs> is the kind of tune they put on to, to add that extra power. Mm -hmm. um, so with the exhaust um, and that and the intake, it should be running somewhere around 530-ish, cool. I'm thinking. Um, <laughs> so I guess we'll, we'll find out later Yeah, today. definitely. Yeah. And especially with the exhaust, actually, because that I'm quite intrigued about. Yeah. You're saying on the, on the hot start, yeah, so, so would you say the hot start's almost louder than the cold yeah, start? Yeah, so when, when a lot of people obviously like their cold starts and yeah. it's, it's you know, a cool thing, but I find that this, once it's warm, um, you just get the pops and the crackles and it's yeah, so much better. Once I get home on late night sometimes, I can't shut off the car before <laughs> I need to like finally finish and you know, leave the car there. Yeah. So if the car shuts off, I'm pretty much screwed because yeah. I wake up the whole neighbourhood. Well, uh, tell you what, if you hop in, we'll, uh, yeah. we'll have a little listen. Also, it's got the full apt exhaust system on here as well. <laughs> Such a deep tone. I see what you mean about the, the deeper tone of it. Yeah, yeah. So it's... Even the idol. <laughs> so sick. <laughs> that is nuts. Anyway, let's shut this down and I think, should we go for a drive? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. a 400 brake stock RS3 yeah, yeah. Um, and now it's obviously an apt 500 brake RS3. Did yeah. you ever drive it? No you didn't ever drive it as no, a stock. No I, I did. Yeah. So oh, you did? Yeah um, at the time I got the car um, I went to yeah I went to pick it up and I kind of drove it and it's like yeah this is the one I want. Yeah. Um, and then yeah um, I got to quickly obviously drive it then and mm. then Richter took it up to well, took it down I guess it went up from kind of up halfway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, they took it down to Milk Keynes um, and did all their stuff I think in maybe a few weeks. It took, okay. Well, that's uh, not too, too long actually. Too long that's been really. Um, so yeah, it's, it's quite good. Yeah. No, it's. Uh, I mean, the thing looks stunning. Yeah. What they've yeah. done. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's quite nice. It's um. It's all the like little subtle changes. Yeah. You don't do a whole lot kind of to make it look crazy, mm. uh, which a lot of other companies do. They go all out and it just looks a bit nuts. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they, they just do little touches, which really kind of is, is what is best about it. Yeah, yeah. It's like OEM plus. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Which is nice. The intake noise as well. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to like pick it out on yeah. camera. But uh, if I chuck it into the other slow one. Yeah. Um, I mean, when I've 
taking this car to the Santa Bond and stuff. Yeah. Um, and it just feels so stable. You don't feel like I think I've got to like 115 or something. Yeah. And it just feels planted. And, you know, you don't feel like you're going that speed at yeah. all, which is slightly dangerous in some respects because <laughs> you don't realise that. Yeah. You know, this thing picks up quick. So. I imagine it's one of those cars which it just keeps on going. Like yeah. linear power just shoots up. Yeah. 500 brake in an Audi RS3. I mean, in a hot hatch, it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah I think realistically, I've kind of looked at it and said you only need maybe 300, yeah. 400 brake at most. But yeah, this is just. I mean, mental. it handles it. I mean, it's obviously it's all wheel drive, so it's not going to be. Yeah, airy. I think that's the, the best thing about it. Is <laughs> I don't, don't ever worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite nice now that I uh, I can get out of spots that I wouldn't have been able to get out of. Before. That's the thing. I think slow cars are dangerous. You know, yeah, honestly, <laughs> they are. So, yeah, it's, it's genuine. Yeah. When you're at a roundabout like this, you just need to go. You can. What I find mental about this specific car, though, is the fact that just how rare they are. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, I think when I was talking to Richter, the Neil um, at Richter, I've kind of had contact with him ever since I'm, we're constantly doing stuff and kind of planning things mm. um, and yeah when I was talking to him about it I think he said there was maybe one other um, they've done and that was I think it's somewhere in the south of okay. Isle of Wight maybe I, I can't exactly remember and that's it um, in, in the UK. yeah and that's in I think in, in the UK that's it um, so yeah it's crazy. definitely exclusive yeah yeah it's still quite understated though, like with aftermarket, not body kits, but like aftermarket customization companies. It's it's nice because it like we were saying, it's OEM plus, it's not like yeah. Larry and big spoilers and everything. So I think that it that's what I mean about it being an underdog. I think that it is almost quite sleeperish. Yeah. In the sense that it just you don't really I mean those who know will know. Yeah. But people like these people driving past saying, oh RS3, blah blah blah. Yeah. Yeah, I think in, people don't realise what it is until um, you fly past them and they hear the exhaust. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what really, like, that thing coming past you is just crazy. Yeah. I mean, 500 brake is, like, supercar territory. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, yeah, I've been, I've been kind of with um, a couple of Porsches um, and it just kind of stays there. It just, just catches up. Yeah. Just really have to, you know, some things I can quite easily can beat as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's nice to know that you've got that. Yeah. <laughs> Hidden un, un, up your sleeve. Yeah. Properly pushes it back. Yeah. I love the noise it makes on the upshift as well. Yeah.
they they stop <laughs> anyway i think that's going to round up today's video this thing is an absolute weapon i think it's got 500 brake I, I can't get my head around it <laughs> but it's absolutely rapid and thank you very much to jacob uh, for, for showing me the car and uh, for taking me out on it i definitely want one now i mean the, the rs3 i think is the ultimate hot hatch i mean if you guys watch the head-to-head -head, uh, series which i do the hot hat uh, the rs3 smashed me five nil um, and that was completely stock so that says something uh, but anyway that is going to round up today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed if you have please make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures